Hello everybody, I have recently discovered that Spotify makes an iceberg chart. So today we're going to be looking at mine, I'm going to be introducing the bands I listen to, and I'm going to give you some song recommendations. All of these bands go from most known to least known, so be ready for that. Alright, so the first artist on this list is incredibly well-known, obviously, Billie Eilish. She just put out a new album, which I have yet to listen to, actually, but I'll be doing that shortly. Um, some of my favorite songs by her are mostly her older songs, like Ocean Eyes and just things from a while ago, but I'll be checking out that new album shortly, and yeah, she's at the top of the chart. And next layer, we have Linkin Park starting it off. Um, they're fairly well known still, you know, getting into some new metal here, um, early 2000s shit. Uh, some of my, one of my favorite bands, but my favorite album by them is definitely Hybrid Theory, which I own on vinyl. So yeah, definitely check that out if you haven't. Next up we got Deftones, another band from the 2000s, pretty well known, notable songs, My Own Summer, Be Quiet and Drive, uh, they got a lot of different sounding music out there and I think that's pretty nice with the, the difference in sound, um, more of a variety for their listeners. Next up here, same tier, Green Day, which if you don't know is a band that I absolutely adore, I've seen them live. Uh, notable songs, Basket Case, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, Holiday. Uh, band sprung up in the early 90s uh, and are still going strong today. To finish off tier 2, we got Radiohead. Um, pretty well known as well. They really blew up with their song Creep. Tier 3 starts us off with the Smashing Pumpkins. They are pretty well known for their songs 1979, Bullet with Butterfly Wings, and Zero. Um, these guys sprung up in the 90s as well. Here we got Lil Darky. Um, he's a little bit controversial at times, but a lot of people, including me, really enjoy his music. I think he's a very talented dude. Like, he does rap and he also does some scream vocals. Rage Against the Machine, rap metal at its finest. Uh, you probably know these guys from Killing in the Name or Bulls on a Broom. They are one of the biggest names in rap metal. Here we got Alice in Chains. Um, I like to call them the better Nirvana. They made better grunge music than Nirvana did. That's my opinion, of course, but... Some of their notable songs would be Man in a Box, uh, Nutshell, Godsmack, you know, all of that stuff. Just really good sounding grunge music, but yeah, my opinion is they're better than Nirvana, and you can fight me in the comments for that one. The last band in this tier is MCR, My Chemical Romance, pretty well known in the emo pop punk 2000 scene. Uh, notable songs would be Teenagers, Helena, Welcome to the Black Parade. Alright, to start off this tier, we got The Descendants. Uh, these guys kind of started making music in the 80s. Um, pretty well known for Good Good Things, Hope, all of that good stuff. Good old classic punk. Going back to 2000s emo for a second here, we got Sleeping With Sirens, um, pretty popular with If You Can't Hang, um, overall very good emo band in my opinion. And back to 80s punk with The Misfits with some notable songs being Dig Up Her Bones and Hybrid Moments. The last band in this tier is the 2000s band The Use, quite popular with Taste of Ink. And starting off tier 5, we got Kenny Hoopla, uh, pretty well known for Estella, How Can I Rest in Peace, If I'm Buried by the Highway, and Hollywood Sucks. This dude is absolutely amazing live. And here is Mayhem, one of the most popular black metal bands of the 90s, notable songs being Freezing Moon and Death Crush. 
here's some more classic punk for you, The Dead Kennedys, with their first release being in 1979. Notable songs, Holiday in Cambodia. Next up we got Acid Bath, which is Sludge Doom from 1995. Um, notable songs, Cheap Vodka and Scream of the Butterfly. Excuse me if I pronounce this wrong, but I believe it's Kek Arak. Um, it's gonna be some Ukrainian black metal and ambient black metal. Um, Amor is a really notable song by them. Really nice and slow, drugged out riffs. Really amazing. Catalyst is a hardcore punk band that came about in 2021 with some of their most popular songs being Nice to See You, Is This All That Will Be, and Forget It, I'll Figure It Out. Salvador Rene is a screamo band that came about just last year in 2023 and has been doing very, very well since they came up. Grey Days first released in 1993, Chester Bennington was their lead singer before Chester went to Lincoln Park. Which is Pacific Northwest funeral doom metal that emerged in the 2010s. Um, notable songs being their hour and a half long Mirror Reaper. Next, I bring you Doom, a hardcore band that started up in 91. Notable songs being Please Bastard and Means to an End. Next, I bring you Capitals, Casualties, and Grind, who are also starting in 1991. Notable songs being Violence Junkie. On the take. Um, overall, a very, very good classic grindcore. Next, I got Disrupt. Um, they got their start in 94. With only two albums released, they are still popping off. Domestic Prison and A Life's a Life are some of my favorite songs by them. I know Renew Disgust, they got their start in the 90s as well. Also, grindcore. Um, some of my favorites are Mother Earth. And you have no right. Here we are, down at the final tier. If you have made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave it a like so I can do one for July as well. Here I bring you Jankum. These guys got their start in 2023. It is a two-man mince violence project with some of the best songs being Bloxburg Massacre and I Want a Fucking Big Mac Bro. Here is Adam B. It is a solo project, um, indie music, it got its start in 2023 as well. Notable songs I still remember and Substance. And finally, the last band in this tier, we got Spec. These guys are an absolutely amazing hardcore project from the 701 area. Um, definitely give these guys a listen. Absolutely amazing work. So, you've made it to the end of my Iceberg Spotify chart for June. If you want to see one of these for July, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.